Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Gaynor here. Today, we are going to continue learning about support and community helpers. Today, we're going to look at our mail carriers or our postal workers. Uh, they serve a very important job of delivering our mail into our mailbox, um, also picking up mail that we drop into the mailboxes. And so today, we're going to take a look at the job which they do and how they help and serve our community. Let's take a look at these important people. So just like we have been discussing, this is a non-fiction book. This informative title for young readers delivers facts about the of mail carriers. So just like in other jobs in our community, they have a special uniform. So what we, we know that when they are delivering our mail, that they are United States Postal Workers. Chili Delivery. The mail carrier climbs out of his truck. Icy wind stings his face. So here is the infamous um, postal truck. Um, you may see a car around the neighborhood. That's how the mail carrier gets from the post office to its route. A route is the um, way in which the driver drives to its specific location in order to drop off the mail. They have certain blocks and houses that they have to deliver to. So the route is the way in which they work around your neighborhood. The mail carrier puts letters in the mailbox. Cold weather does not stop him. So our mail gets delivered Monday to Saturday, and we get our mail each and every day, basically no matter the circumstances of the weather, whether it's nice and sunny, which would be an ideal way to deliver mail, um, but whether it's raining or snowing, they deliver our mail each and every day. What are mail carriers? Mail carriers pick up and deliver mail. They work for post offices. So deliver means to bring it to your house. Mail carriers serve towns, cities, and the countryside. They deliver routes, visit homes, and businesses. So here we see a mail carrier cart as well. Sometimes, depending on their route, they don't need a truck. They can walk around. So in Long Island, a lot of the houses are spaced out, so they need a truck. But if you were in, say, Brooklyn or Queens or the Bronx, they would have this cart, and they have all the slots on the side to put the mail, and they deliver it to each house. You'll also see in part of the uniform their scanner. And when they go up to each mailbox, they scan a barcode so that tells them um, that they're delivering mail that they're checking in at each house as well. And they place the mail inside of the mailbox as the woman is doing in the picture here. What do mail carriers do? Mail carriers sort mail at the post office. Then they put it into mail bags or trucks. So as we see here, it's a very organized system. People need to get letters or bills or important documents sent out. So this is why the United States Post Office, Postal Service, is, serves an important part in our community. Mail carriers drive. Their trucks carry packages and letters. So I know we've spoken a lot, especially with... Um, the mail carriers, we order many things off of online these days, especially now. Uh, the United States Post Office has started delivering packages from things that we order from websites. So not only do they deliver letters or envelopes, but they also deliver packages. Packages can be considered things in boxes or large items. Other mail carriers walk. They carry mail in their bags. So their gear, okay, or their uniform um, would be considered the mail truck, a mail bag, which the gentleman has here, a hat, and a mail tray. Now, why do you think they need a hat? 
Hmm. Now remember, we said that they work in all different kinds of weather conditions. So whether it's super sunny so they don't get burned, or whether it's a little chilly, they have a little protection or rainy. What mail carry? What makes a good mail carrier? Mail carriers are strong. Many walk miles with heavy bags, so the it's really it's not easy because they have to push around or drive around um, several pounds of mail each day, and they have to be active because sometimes uh, everyone's mailbox is not not right at the bottom. They might have to walk upstairs to drop in people's mail into the mailboxes. They need to walk up and down blocks. Um, they also need to be friendly because you're greeting people and you're dropping things off at their house. They have to be orderly. They need to be organized because you're giving each house their specific mail and you're grouping uh, the letters that are going out. So you need to make sure that you're giving the correct house their correct packages or letters or mail. They also need to be strong. Uh, you need to be able to lift these heavy boxes or push the heavy carts or hold the bags. Um, and it's for a long period of time. A lot of mail carriers go out in the beginning early in the morning and then they don't finish up until later in the afternoon. So they have a long and strenuous day. Mail carriers are friendly too. Customers ask questions. What mail is there today? Or how are you doing? Or how is your day? Just like when you greet other people, you greet them the same way as well. So here again, we see the postal uh, worker having a, um, a tool in which he's scanning the barcode on the package to confirm that he is delivering it. So we examined how Postal workers serve an important part in our community, and some important words that we discussed today were countryside, packages, customers, post offices, deliver, and routes. So let's just take a look at these words again. Countryside is land outside of cities or towns. So it doesn't really pertain to us per se, but it's important to know that people get mail delivered in all different places. Packages, boxes or other packs filled with things to be mailed. Customers, people who pay for goods or services. So as a customer, you buy things online or in store and they ship them to you. A post office, places where mail is received, sorted, and sent. Deliver, to take something and bring it to someone else. So we, the postal office workers deliver our mail to our homes and routes, paths that are commonly traveled in order for the workers to give their mail from the post office to the home. So today we learned how mail carriers or postal workers serve an important part in our community. They actually, when we sent our special letters um, to each and every one of you, so we use the postal service when Mrs. Corrigan and I our mini uh, teacher activity. So you could see how uh, we send out and we use this uh, daily. And I think it's important, especially during these times, that we are thanking our essential workers. The mail carriers are out there each and every day giving mail and delivering us packages that we're ordering online since we can't go to stores. So they are serving our community extremely these past few weeks and we owe them a big round of applause so when you see your mail carrier delivering your mail make sure to say thank you or wait to show your appreciation awesome job